After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth or on the sea or on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried mightily with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. The tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Zebulon, 12,000 were sealed. After these things, I looked and behold a great multitude which no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, saying with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, the elders and four living creatures, and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes, and where did they come from? And I said unto him, Sir, you know. So he said unto me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them. They shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat for the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters and God shall wipe away every tear from their eyes.